Welcome to the Phoenix Skills Hub, your number one stop for video drawing tutorials. Find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic along with great stories and more. Hi, I'm Rob Dees and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw my original character, Fawn. There are quite a lot of elements to Fawn's design, so this tutorial is split into three parts to really give us time to go over every step. Today, we're going to focus on the building blocks and the face and the hair, with subsequent videos covering Fawn's outfit and axe. Okay, let's get started. We're going to begin our drawing by constructing a set of building blocks. Building blocks are a series of basic shapes we use to construct a set of guides from which to create our final drawing. First, draw an oval with a point at the bottom. Then, add centre lines to help you place the facial features. Draw ovals for the eyes, a triangle for the nose and a rising curve for the mouth. Finally, add ovals for the ears. That's all the building blocks in place for the face, but whilst we're here, let's get some guides down for the whole body to make sure all our proportions are correct before we start to dive into the final drawing. Start by drawing a chunky curved shape for the torso with some centre lines. Use a series of interconnected ovals for the shoulder, the upper arm and the lower arm and a semicircle for the palm of the hand. Hands are notoriously tricky, but let's just start with sausage shapes for the fingers for now. We can worry about them later. Again, use ovals for the other arm and sausage shapes for the fingers. Draw half a pair of pants for the pelvis and overlapping ovals for the legs. Then, add a curvy foot shape at the back. For the other leg, we're going to draw what looks like an upside down vase with two semicircles either side. Finally, add the other foot and that's all your building blocks in place. You can now check that all your proportions are correct and nothing looks wonky or off before proceeding to your final drawing. Because I work on a computer, I'm going to turn the opacity down on my building blocks to make them fainter and then create a new layer for my final lines. If you're using pencil and paper, then either draw your building blocks really lightly and erase them later, or overlay a second piece of paper over your guides and draw over them to save rubbing out. Start with a strong outline and then add the ears. Onto the eyes. Start with the upper eyelids before adding the lower eyelids and the pupil. Imagine the pupil as a full circle, but because of the eyelid, you're only seeing about two thirds of it. If you draw a full circle in there, Fawn is going to look surprised and that's not the look we're going for here. Finish off the eyes with two slanted eyebrows to make Fawn look fierce. The nose is just three small marks and the mouth just two. Just make sure the upper lip is fuller than the lower one. Again, because I'm working digitally, I'm going to draw my hair on a separate layer, but you can rub out any unwanted lines later if you're working on paper. Start with a choppy fringe. Fill out the fringe from the top centre with chunky lines. The back of Fawn's head is shaved, so use sharp razor lines for texture. Draw a flowing line for her wispy side bangs to make them look like they're being caught by the breeze. Add a choppy end and then draw back up towards the fringe. Then simply repeat on the other side. Erase any unwanted lines and then add texture to the hair with lines and squiggles and some marks on the cheeks so Fawn doesn't look too pristine. She lives out in the wild so it would look wrong if she was too clean. Okay, that's Fawn's face done and the building blocks in place for the next stage. Check out part 2 of my How to Draw Fawn series when I'll be covering Fawn's outfit. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, why not give us a like and for even more How to Draw tutorials, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Till next time. For even more drawing tips, along with great stories and more, why not grab a subscription to the Phoenix comic by checking out the link in the description.